ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your second look at sports. I'm Charles Fisher. The countdown is on to the Commonwealth Youth Games, just seven days away. Over 1,500 athletes, ages 14 through 18, representing 17 nations, taking part in nine sporting disciplines. Teams will start arriving as early as Wednesday, according to Games CEO Romel Fishnels. Northern Ireland will be the first official team to arrive, and I think they arrive sometime tomorrow. Um, the village actually opened up on the 16th, uh, and so we're anticipating everything, the smooth transition. We're putting our final uh, touches together in terms of our preparation. I just wanted to extend a heartfelt thank you to the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture, Mr. Michael Pintard, for um, assisting us uh, with getting these games off. Um, him and his team, P.S. Campbell, came to our rescue, if, if you would, and um, really provide us with the support to put on what I think is the most exciting games ever to hit this shore. Wednesday will definitely be a big day. That's when Team Bahamas will also be named. That's going to give me goosebumps. I mean, and one of the driving force behind the Bahamas bidding for these games and our chairman, Mr. Wellington Miller, was to give these young athletes an opportunity to compete at home that otherwise will not have that opportunity. Um, 132 athletes. We're never, ever going to assemble this much athletes again, unless, of course, we host another major games. But, um, and to see them on the parade of country, countries come opening night, um, the official opening, which begins on the 18th, to see them march out in their Bahamian colors, 132 of them, and then another 45 officials, it's going to be a long parade, and I think Bahamas is going to be proud. Speaking about teams, our senior ladies national basketball team in the U.S. Virgin Islands and will tip off play Wednesday against Mexico at the FIBA America Central Basket Tournament. The tournament will be held from July 12th through the 16th. Team Bahamas will comprise of Valerie Nesbitt, Felicia Kelly, Linda Pierre, Shalonda Neely, Samantha Gilbert, Tracy Lewis, Diasi Delancey, Joette Fernanda, Pamela Bethel, Lachey Roll, and Tenille Poitier. Head coach, Yolette Murphy McQuinn, and will be assisted by Donnie Kulma and Terence Red Eyes McSweeney. Teams in the tournament, Puerto Rico, Guatemala, Jamaica, U.S. Virgin Islands, Bahamas, and Mexico. At the end of the day, it's going to be about experience, uh, toughness, and then talent. You know, so that's we want to put our best foot forward, and that's what we intend to do. We need to be in the top three, all right, to, in order to play in Argentina in August. And we've already, because we won the gold medal two years uh, two years ago, we've already qualified for another tournament in uh, Colombia next year. So. We're just continue. We're going to continue to build this thing and try to put ourselves in the best position to represent the Bahamas as much as possible. Just in the past, Jamaica has always been tough. Uh, the host country, so the Virgin Islands, will be competitive. Um, uh, it's another team out there. I know Jamaica for sure. The Virgin Islands. Uh, Puerto Rico. I mean, all of the teams, everyone's trying to put themselves in a position to be competitive, you know. John Quill Jones will not be a part of Team Bahamas. However, she was voted by the fans, media, and players to her first WNBA All-Star Game. The announcement coming on ESPN News today. Before the season, the 23-year-old was voted by WNBA general managers as the player most likely to have a breakout year with 201 rebounds through 17 games. The first time All-Star is on pace to break Tina Child's single-season record for total rebounds, 398 set back in 2010. Also overseas representing the 242 is our under-18 world track and field team in Nairobi, Canada. Countries like the United States and Canada have pulled out due to security concerns. B3's PR man Philip Gray has spoken with members of Team Bahamas and they are doing okay. I've actually been in touch with the team in, in Nairobi. They're doing well. They're settled in. Um, um, preparing themselves for competition. Um, from a security standpoint, there's been no challenges, um, and so we, we anticipate that there were, the, the, the safety of the, our team is in hand. Um, we feel well about this, and we think that that team will also do very well. Meantime, B3's family, along with other family members, will come together Wednesday at 7 at the Kendall Isaacs Gym for the memorial service for former president and outstanding track pioneer, Dr. B.J. Nordich. The B3s, in conjunction with um, friends of Dr. Nordich, um, will be holding a memorial, um, an opportunity for us to do a tribute to um, 
this um, elder statesman of the uh, um, Federation. Um, just to pay the accolades and our last respect to him. It's a memorial with a candlelight ceremony at the end. Um, um, some good entertainment and certainly some well-deserving tributes by a number of outstanding Bahamians. Just speaking to um, the quality and the essence of the man that um, led this federation. And that's all my time for sports on a Tuesday evening. I'm Charles Fisher. Enjoy the rest of your evening.